I want to help anyone that may be feeling lonely. I love to talk with people. I also love to help. I have all the love in this world to give. Leaked. New female robot, weekly Boston Dynamics News. Ah, look at you, Boston Dynamics, leading the world in all things robotic. Let's take a look at the latest happenings in the world of Boston Dynamics. The next generation of robots. How did Michael Crichton, Sean Connery, and Wesley Snipes factor into the creation of a preeminent robotics firm? The story begins on the movie set of the 1993 action thriller Rising Sun, starring Connery and Snipes, and based off the Crichton novel of the same name. It was during a week of filming under the hot California sun that Mark Ryber, then a professor at MIT, realized there was more work to do. We were providing robots for the background of a scene in the movie, said Ryber, and we were there for a week. And it was a week of hell. On set, Ryber said the heat, among other things, was a variable not present in the controlled MIT lab, and for a time, nothing worked right. It was around this time that Ryber decided to create Boston Dynamics. The reclusive company is known for their occasional viral videos, most notably one where its robots danced the mashed potato to the song Do You Love Me? Last year, they agreed to let 60 Minutes correspondent Anderson Cooper into their New England headquarters for a rare look at their nearly three-decade effort to advance robotic capabilities. Unlike many Hollywood films where robots are portrayed with advanced, human-like artificial intelligence, Boston Dynamics places a focus on what it calls athletic intelligence, which is the ability of machines to control things like balance, posture, and the way they move. The company's build it, break it, fix it approach means their machines are pushed, sometimes literally, in order to gather data and advance their capabilities. This generation of robots is going to be different, said Robert Plater, the CEO of Boston Dynamics. They're going to work amongst us. They're going to work next to us in ways where we help them, but they also take some of the burden from us. Boston Dynamics hopes humans may soon work alongside robots in more ways. In March 2021, on 60 Minutes, the company debuted one of its newest creations, a robot they call Stretch. The company said it can move 800 boxes an hour in a warehouse and operate for up to 16 consecutive hours without changing its battery. Roscoe patrols Boston Esplanade ahead of fourth festivities. A bomb-detecting robot built by Boston Dynamics was spotted patrolling the Esplanade in anticipation of July 4 festivities. The Boston Pops fireworks spectacular was to return to the Hatch Memorial Shell on Charles River Esplanade after a three-year hiatus due to the COVID-19 pandemic. Police were seen taking extra security measures for the event, which was the first large-scale 4th of July celebration the city's seen since 2019. Authorities said they planned to provide security by land, air, and water. State police told media that the six-month-old bomb squad robot's name was Roscoe, and it would be part of the security measures. According to sources, the state police bomb squad has two of the robots, which can climb stairs, traverse rough terrain, and fit into small spaces. The robot can also clear suspicious packages and capture video for investigators. As part of the event's security measures, visitors were asked to carry as few items as possible and were prohibited from bringing alcohol, glass containers, weapons, and backpacks to the venue. Velodyne LiDAR signs multi-year agreement Velodyne LiDAR Inc. recently announced a multi-year agreement for its LiDAR sensors with Boston Dynamics, the global leader in mobile robotics. Boston Dynamics selected Velodyne sensors to provide perception and navigation capabilities for its highly mobile robots, which are capable of tackling the toughest robotic challenges. Velodyne's LiDAR sensor solutions enable mobile robots to operate autonomously and safely, without human intervention. They provide real-time 3D perception data for localization, mapping, object classification, and object tracking. Velodyne's power-efficient sensors support autonomous mobile robots in a wide range of challenging indoor and outdoor environmental conditions, including varying temperature, lighting, and precipitation. Boston Dynamics has signed a supply agreement with Velodyne LiDAR, and we are excited to continue working together to enhance and extend the capabilities of mobile robots, said Eric Landry, Director Supply Chain, Boston Dynamics. Boston Dynamics robots provide advanced mobility, dexterity, and intelligence that enable automation in unfamiliar and unpredictable settings. 
Equipped with Velodyne LiDAR sensors, their robots can autonomously navigate complex environments. They can safely avoid obstacles and find the fastest route to perform vital tasks in environments from manufacturing plants and construction sites to distribution centers and warehouses. Velodyne LiDAR ushered in a new era of autonomous technology with the invention of real-time surround view LiDAR sensors. Velodyne, the global leader in LiDAR, is known for its broad portfolio of breakthrough LiDAR technologies. Velodyne's revolutionary sensor and software solutions provide flexibility, quality, and performance to meet the needs of a wide range of industries, including robotics, industrial, intelligent infrastructure, autonomous vehicles, and advanced driver assistance systems. Through continuous innovation, Velodyne strives to transform lives and communities by advancing safer mobility for all. Making Spot Smarter and Taking It Off Leash Spot has gotten a significant upgrade in a launch held on YouTube earlier. While the star of the show was Spot Enterprise, an enhanced version of the earlier Spot, Boston Dynamics also announced the Spot Arm and Scout, a web-based teleoperating software which allows Spot to be controlled over networks, either locally or over the internet. It took us many years of development to get Spot capable of walking through complicated rugged terrain that have been difficult for traditional robots, said Michael Perry of Boston Dynamics. With the toughest problem solved, the company will now address making Spot truly useful for remote and often dangerous operations, such as around radiation and chemical spills and exploring mine shafts or oil and gas operations, including offshore oil rigs. Old Spot had been pressed into service at the Chernobyl nuclear disaster site measuring radiation levels in October 2020, but a human operator was still required nearby and was therefore likely exposed to radiation. Old Spot was, in effect, required to be kept on a short leash, always in view, with its owner or operator commanding it with a tablet nearby. New Spot is unleashed. It can be operated from far away, away from radiation and other dangers. This is the most significant enhancement to Spot. The robotic service dog is now usable in environments that are too hazardous for humans. While the robotic dog continues to give many people the creeps, engineers know the mastery of motion over all broken terrain is genius. Spot headed to Ukraine for ordnance cleanup. Spot, the famous yellow robotic dog developed by Boston Dynamics, has been used for all sorts of applications, from construction and cleaning up trash in parks to cheering at baseball games and helping SpaceX contain liquid nitrogen to various law enforcement functions. Boston Dynamics' website describes Spot as an agile mobile robot that navigates terrain with unprecedented mobility, allowing you to automate routine inspection tasks and data capture safely, accurately, and frequently. Now, Spot is heading to the conflict in Ukraine. According to foreign policy, the U.S. Army is providing one of its two Spot models in order to assist an American nonprofit with mine and ordnance cleanup in Ukraine. Halo Trust, the nonprofit, will send Spot to areas near Kiev formerly controlled by the Russians. Deploying a robotic arm in place of its head, Spot could help drag unexploded munitions, such as cluster bombs, to pits containing other munitions, allowing them to be safely exploded far from civilians in batches of up to 50 to 100 shells, and without endangering any of Halo's 10 teams that have been deployed in Bukha and Bravery, the foreign policy report said. Chris Watley of Halo Trust explained to media why Spot is being deployed. If you can just move something without endangering a human and move it far enough that you can take it to a place where it can be safely detonated with other items, you move up the curve massively, he said. That's all for this video, folks. See you another time.